Hey, Pampas kids, Sam ooh, is waiting in anticipation and drooling. And you know what? They weren't drooling, but the disciples waited in anticipation as well when Jesus left because the Holy Spirit was coming. And today we hear about Pentecost when the Holy Spirit came to all of Jesus' disciples. We are also hearing about four friends who cared so much about their friend who was crippled that they took apart a roof to get him in front of Jesus. These are big stories, Sam, because God is powerful. He gives us what we need to love and care for each other. And that's exciting, isn't it? Calm down, Sam, you look too excited. <laughs> We're excited because God loves us and gives us what we need. And he is always with us. So think about that this week. We will see you next time. So Sam is going to say, come here, bud. Bye for now. Until next time. See you next time.
it is. Time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Hi friends, I'm Zoe. Do you know what this is? It's a dress up box. I can have fun with all the different things inside. <gasps> Do you know what this is? It's a pilot's helmet. Helicopter pilots wear these when they have to fly their helicopter to help people. <gasps> if I were a pilot, I would fly this way and that way so I can help people everywhere. Ooh. This coat makes me look just like a doctor. If I were a doctor, I would use my stethoscope to listen to everyone's hearts, just like my doctor does. Hello, Mr. Bear. Your heart sounds very strong. Ooh, have you ever seen this before? It's a lifeguard whistle. <whistles> Pool's open. If I were a lifeguard, I would practice my swimming every day, so I'd always be ready to help people. I wish I could be a real pilot, or a real lifeguard, or a real doctor. Then I could help people all the time, just like they do. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Ho, ho. Having fun with dress up, are you? I am, Ollie. But I wish it wasn't pretend. That way I could really help people. Those people are great helpers. It's true. But I know a way you can help, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who, who? Follow me through. Friends, I'm Luis the Handyman. I'm just fixing this toy for my friends. They were having so much fun playing that the wheels started to come off. <laughs> I love that I can use my tools to help my friends. That's the sign for help. Can you do it with me? Great job. Now raise your hand if you'd like to help your friends too. Oh, that's awesome. You can put your hands down now. Now, I have a great story to tell you about some friends who helped. Do you want to help me build it? Great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with these four friends. These friends knew someone who needed help. His legs didn't work, and he couldn't walk. He needed their help because he had to be carried everywhere. One day, Jesus came to their town. Raise your hand if you know about Jesus. Wow, that's great. You can put your hands down now. There are so many amazing things to know about Jesus. Jesus is God's son. Jesus is an amazing teacher. And Jesus can do things only he can do. When people heard Jesus was in town, oh, they came running to see him. <laughs> oh, whoa, that's a lot of people in one little house. They were all so excited to see Jesus. But they weren't the only ones excited to see Jesus. 
Do you remember the four friends? Well, when they heard that Jesus was in town, they were excited too. They knew Jesus could do amazing things. They knew Jesus could help their friend who couldn't walk. So they helped him by picking him up and carrying him to Jesus. But when they got there, the house was full of people and they could not get in the front door. Hmm. So guess what they did? They carried their friend to the top of the house. Oh, oh, oh. Pretend you're climbing with me. Oof. Okay, we made it. Good job. Now they're on the roof. How are they going to get their friend inside? Mm. They need to dig a hole in the roof. Everybody, dig a hole with me. The friends dug a hole in the roof and lowered their friend to Jesus. When Jesus saw how much the man and his friends believed that he could help, Jesus did something amazing. Jesus told the man to get up and walk. And he did. Jesus made the man's legs all better. And he could walk and even dance. <laughs> that is amazing because the four friends helped the man who couldn't walk got to see Jesus. And Jesus helped him walk. Oh, wow! Those four friends did what God made them to do. They helped, and we can help too. God made you and me to help others. <laughs> Hooray for helping! <laughs> Hi, Ollie. Tell me, who made you to help others? God made me to help others. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you to help others? God made me to help others. That's the truth, friends. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. God made us to help. That means me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. Even though I'm not a real rescue pilot or real lifeguard or real doctor, I can still help others too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I have an idea. I can help my aunt by playing with my little cousins. And I could bring these costumes over so we can play dress up too. I'll see you next time. Bye. We have the Lord our God to help us. 2 Chronicles 32, 8. We have the Lord our God to help us. 2 Chronicles 32, 8.